a chip on his tripod just to sit here and give you a decent view. I'll put a light flashlight right down here. Just lighten everything up a little bit.
Now, I never mentioned it, but in the video you may notice I had numbers um, on the eggs. That's just for my own personal record. Um, just so I know which ones are, what, what eggs came from which hen. And find out who's given the best egg production plus, of course, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, and I'll show you guys some more later. Alright guys, here's another one. Almost ready. He's been he cracked his shell at 9 p.m. last night. It is 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. next day. He's just about ready to crack, completely come out. You might be able to hear those chicks. They may even come over there. I got three in there right now that's almost, almost dry enough to take out and put in the other container, the other birds. Um, I just wanted to tell you, um, if you have chickens and you want to try to, um, breed your own, you can make your own, uh, incubator. But without finding a thermostatic controlled heater, it's really hard to use. I, I did it last time with a light bulb and, uh, yeah, I was able to get a couple, but I lost a lot. This time I went out and bought an incubator and actually bought an egg turner. Um, and I do recommend you buy both. If not, send it on the fan also. This is a still air incubator, but you can buy, for 40 bucks, you can buy a fan for it. I just took a computer fan. Um, hooked it up to a uh, uh, diode or whatever you want to call it. Just slowed the fan down just to circulate the air nice and smoothly. And so far, I'm getting a pretty good egg ratio. I haven't lost, but I haven't lost none really. I think I lost like one mission. And actually, guys. I don't know what's going to show you. I got one over here in the corner cracked in two. Take you upside down a little bit. And I'll keep an eye on both of them. But he's the more active one right there. But anyways, as I was saying, I recommend just going out and spending the 44 bucks on the incubator. It controls your temperature. It comes with the ther you know cheap thermostat, but or not thermostat, I'm sorry, th thermometer. You know, but it works. And uh, and if you got the extra 40, get the egg turner. But if you don't have the egg turner, you can turn it two or three times a day, and I bet it would work just fine too. I've only lost, I don't know, just a couple, but I replaced them with other eggs, and it could have been because they just weren't uh, fertile or nothing either, because they never developed. But 21 days on average, you know, the day that you do it. Mine actually have ha started hatching. Uh, I think three days early, so 19 days. But they might have got a little warm, uh, sitting in the, the crate waiting for me to put them in the uh, hatchery. So, or the incubator, I guess. Hatchery.
attached for you, just later, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm going to take you over to this other one because he's, you know, they're both moving. But I think the white one's going to try to come out quicker. Of course, he's going to make a lot. There he goes. Now, these are, uh, I won't be hatching many white ones. There he goes. I have to move you guys because he's down where you can't see him. But, uh, a lot of people want some brown eggs. Right. So, I got one, um, barred rock rooster, and I got one barred rock, uh, pen out there. And I thought maybe one or two of these was going to be open. We got the other one just patched too. We missed that one. And he just popped out. So. Anyways, we got a, I got two, one each out there. And I know she lays eggs. But I don't want to put them in a separate pen, so I keep them in the same with my red. She lays brown eggs anyway. So I'm hoping uh, that I get a couple of those, but I don't know if I will or not. I don't know if this will pick up. Turn the light on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see all the white, well, the yellow checks will be white. I don't know. That one right there, I don't know what's going on with her head. It's bald. Come out bald. And you got a red, a gold, I mean. And the black one is actually a, a bantam. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with her head. I'm just missing some feathers. But those have all been hatched just in the last couple hours. Okay, guys, um, this is, uh, after all the eggs that was in the incubator hatched, all except for six of them, I believe, and they're not due till, I believe, today. I put them in a little late. There's 32 in there, I believe. Let me try to get them out of the way. And my granddaughter, she likes that one right there. Call, her, call him Spike. He's a mean one. But and then that one right there, there's a bantam. Just went ahead. And there's a couple bantams in there. I'm not sure where the other one's at. There's one of them right there. I believe that one might be it. Hiding. Get him out and see. Nope, there he is. He was hiding. Barred rocks right here. Reds are there. That one evidently must have been mixed with the barred rock and a red. Or golden common, I mean. Something, one of those two. Just have to wait to see when they get their adult feathers, see what, exactly what they are. And if you remember in the very beginning, that one, that, the very first one that was hatched, the one of the first ones, had a bald head. That's this one right here. 
but it's, it's looking pretty good. So didn't hurt them. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.